In this session, let us learn how to implement mail merge. We will be covering the following topics. What is mail merge? How to create a data source and register the same? Create the main document, entering data in the fields, merging the data source with the main document, edit individual documents and finally how to use the mail merge wizard. Mail merge is the process of merging or combining the main document with the mailing addresses of various persons. So two documents are created to do this. The first document is the main document of form letter and the other document is the data source. OpenOffice Org Writer provides very useful features to create and print multiple copies of documents to be sent to a list of different recipients to create mailing labels and envelopes. So if I want to implement mail merge, I first need the data source, which is a simple Excel sheet or it could be a database like SQL. We need a main document or a form letter. Now, with these two, we can create multiple copies of merged documents. Let us first see how to create a data source. A data source is the database which contains the mailing address, that is the name and address of various persons. It can be done in a variety of ways. We can make use of simple spreadsheets, which is nothing but the Excel files. It could be text files or it could be a database such as MySQL or ODBC. This is a sample data source which I have created using OpenOffice Calc. Now to register the data source, I am clicking on File, New Text Document, clicking on File, Wizards and choosing Address Data Source. Now. In this, I am going to click on other external data source and next. Now let me click on settings and choose spreadsheet. Let me click on next. Now I am choosing the path to the file where I have stored. I am going to click on my open office calc file and click open. Now I click test connection. The connection is successfully established. Now I click on finish and click next. Now here I am going to rename this location to student marks. Now I am going to give a name for my address book name as well to marks. Now I am going to click on finish. We are done with registering the data source. So these are the steps to register the data source. Now let us go ahead and create the main document so that we can do the mail merge. We can create the main document or form letter in one of the following ways. We can create a new text document by clicking on file new text document or we can use an existing document by simply clicking on file and open. Ensure that the document is ready for merging with the data. All the formatting is done and it is ready for merging. I am going to click on file open and open the sample document which I have created already. I am clicking on view and data sources. We created the marks data source. So I am going to click on it, choose tables and sheet 1. Now I see all the names and marks appearing there. Now, I am going to insert the field by dragging the name and dropping it here. Now, the same way I am going to drag and drop English, Hindi, Maths, Science, Social Science, IT, Total, and percentage. So our file is ready for mail merge. I will show another met method in wizard. 
Let us try to print this by clicking on file and print and choose the option yes. Now under records all is chosen. In the output choose file. I am clicking on it. Now click on save as individual documents and in the field I can give a different field. I can give it by name and choose the destination folder to be the mail merge folder that is in my desktop and click OK. So you can see that the files are getting generated. So once this is done we can open the folder and see that so many files have been generated. We can open on one of them and verify now. As you can see this is one of the record which has been merged to the document. Now let us learn how to use the mail merge wizard. This process involves 8 steps. So the first step is to select the document. The second step is to select the type of the document. The third step is to insert the address block. The fourth is to create salutation. Fifth is to adjust the layout. Sixth step is to edit the document. Seventh step is to personalize the documents and finally save, print or send the documents. Let us have a quick demonstration on using mail merge wizard. I am creating a new folder. The name of the folder is wizard results. Now I am opening the text document. I have kept a document ready for mail merge wizard. Now this is the file that I have created. Click on view and data sources. I am going to make use of the same marks data source that I have. Now let me click on tools and mail merge wizard. Use the current document and click on next. It's a letter. Click next. Now I am going to select a different address list. So I am going to click on the appropriate option and then click OK. Now I click on next. I don't need a salutation. Now let me edit the document. Now to insert the field instead of dragging and dropping I am going to click on the appropriate location. Click on insert fields and other. Now I am choosing the data source selecting the field and clicking on insert. Now I click on roll number and insert. I am clicking on the appropriate places in my word document choosing the database and clicking the appropriate fields and clicking on the option insert. So this I am continuing for all the subjects that I have listed here. As you can see this is another way to do this quickly. You can also drag and drop the appropriate fields. I am closing this and returning back to the mail merge wizard. Now I am going to click on next. You can see that the documents are getting created. I am clicking on next and I am going to choose the option save merged document. Save as individual documents and click save documents. Now I am going to choose the destination folder and give a name results and click save. Now you can find that the results are getting generated. Now I click on finish. Now all the files have been generated and you can see the first record appearing here. So you should not save this file. Go to wizard results. You can see all the files that are generated after merging. The only thing that we need to remember while using mail merge wizard is that we should not save the source document after mail merge. So in this session we have learned what is mail merge, how to register the data source, create the main document, enter data in the fields, merge the data source with the main document, 
edit individual documents and how to use mail merge wizard. I hope you have understood the concepts clearly. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.